All right, so we found this quiz here. Uh, we're, we might not do the whole thing because I think it's a little bit long, but we wanted to test our metal. Uh, Kevin, if you want to oh. bring it up on the stream. Um, <clears throat> bear with us. There it is. Okay, so this is, can you survive the hellacious heavy metal quiz hellacious okay so uh number one play along with us in the chat what was arguably the first metal band in existence was it judas priest black sabbath motorhead or deep purple was is deep purple considered a metal band i don't, I don't think know. deep purple is a metal band yeah that seems like a like a red herring. <laughs> I don't like, know about that. Like, huh, how educated are you? Did you I know mean, this maybe. Um, uh, I'm going to say Black Sabbath because I, I believe that is the correct answer. I feel like every time I hear that, that's somebody's like, did you know they were the ones? <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I, I was going to also say Black Sabbath, but I'm scared of Deep Purple. All right, Kevin, let's see. What is it? Black Sabbath? It is Black Sabbath. Yes, with lead singer Ozzy Osbourne and, and guitarist Tony Naomi. His first metal band uh, identified as such. Hell yeah. And uh, do you know that uh, he lost like the tips of his fingers to Tony Naomi? guy the guitar player that's kind of a popular uh popular is that knowledge a, but see the when he lost in like the work accident yeah he created like his own tone because of yeah. It. yeah 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 all right uh next question which instrument has been the key to the heavy metal sound i mean all of it right keyboards bass guitar uh, drums probably electric, electric guitar <laughs> probably electric guitar yeah. but all of it honestly mm -hmm. like every single one um i'm sure they probably put electric guitar right um so yeah. We'll, yeah we'll do electric guitar all of the above, but, but all of the above electric guitar for sure. Um, it is the weapon of choice, they say. Um, all right, next. Uh, in one of the classic heavy metal feuds of all time, why does Dave Mustaine hate Metallica? The classic heavy <laughs> he metal found feud. Them boring to hang out with. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty funny. He doesn't like their music that he wrote a lot of. Um, he was kicked out. He was kicked out of the band. That's why. Yeah, even if sure. you didn't know, I feel like that's the only one that makes sense. Like, logic. Metallica like pirated some of his band members. I think it's them. that one. You think it's that one? Um, all right. Next, uh, while the band, while this band is seen more as the granddaddy of punk, their take no prisoners attitude and harder rocking song style were blueprints for the earlier versions of metal. Who were they? The Kinks, the Zombies, the Stylistics, or the Spiral Staircase? I'm gonna say the Kinks because I don't really know the other three. I, I've heard of the Zombies. I don't have a clue. About Spiral Staircase? I feel like I've heard the name Spiral, Spiral Staircase. Spiral like Staircase sounds like a before. Magic the Gathering card. <laughs> right. The Spiral. I play the Spiral uh, Staircase. I, I'm, I'm down to do the kinks. So that sounds I'm going to say the kinks, Kevin. Yep, the kinks. Nice. Yep, I only <clears throat> guessed that also because I know a Van Halen covered uh, You Really Got Me. Mm -hmm. um, which oh, that's I right. Yeah, put we did that in that. Video. I should have put in the fucking video. The You Really yeah. Got Me. It mm -hmm. was uh, it was a kinks, really it was kinks song. Me. Um, yeah. Next up, uh, pe people argue that this band is either early metal or the heaviest blues rock proto metal band. What band was this? Alm Almond Brothers, ZZ Top, The Yardbirds, or Led Zeppelin? I'm going to say Led Zeppelin for sure, because I don't think the other three are considered uh, any type of metal band. So probably Z Led Zeppelin. ZZ might. Maybe Z No. I don't know. Well, Maybe like the blues rock is like. But Led Zeppelin, I feel like for a lot of people would consider like back then mm -hmm. they probably would have called Led Zeppelin like a that kind of a metal. Let's do let's do Zepp. Let's do Zeppelin. I'm gonna say Led Zeppelin. Zeppi Leppi. Yep, Led Zeppelin. All right. Correct. All right, moving on. Which punk influenced heavy metal band would become one of the big influences of thrash and speed metal? Anthrax, Biohazard, Helmet, Type O negative. Anthrax. Yeah, for sure. It was probably Anthrax. It was Type O negative. <laughs> September Sun. <laughs> Fast as fuck. Just like, boy. Uh, just like goth yeah. rock. Um, yeah, Anthrax. Yes, that one of the easy, big easy. four, baby. <clears throat> this heavy metal band is well known for their unusual time signatures, drumming patterns, and melodic arrangements. They are also fans of the Melvins and King Crimson. An unnecessary they? addition of detail. Yeah, they right. also like this band. They also <laughs> like my band, the Melvins. Yeah. Is it Tool? The guy writing the article. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to say Tool for sure. They're the only one that's known for their weird time signatures. I was going to say, they kind of all have weird stuff that right, they do. But, but not I guess, like famously, yeah. though. Drum patterns for sure, I would say Tool. Yeah, yeah people sure learned tool. the word Fibonacci from Tool. <laughs> yeah. 100% tool. Uh, Rammstein is an internationally popular band 
is an internationally popular band, plural? It's a popular from band. From Germany that has at times been labeled as industrial heavy metal. What is their favorite stage effect? Probably the cock that shoots hum. Fire. I, <laughs> fire, light shows, video projections, or lots of smoke. Now, if that said lots of cum, I would probably lots say of that nut. one. Lots of big, juicy n- nut. Now, but, um, uh, probably fire. Fire, yeah, for sure, fire. 100%. Um, just light shows. Yeah, you know, they're, they're light shows. Um, first Have you of all, seen their box it. set? Mm-mm-mm. Not in a while. Have you seen their cock Chat, set? Chat, if you're curious, go look up Ramstein's box set. Box set? Interesting. And put what you see in the comments. Uh, have you been to his restaurant, Hamstein? <laughs> Okay, next. Uh, who is the f- who is this famous blues guitarist whose love of long live guitar solos influenced heavy metal? Robert Johnson, Gary Moore, Eric Clapton, or Jack Back? Mm. <laughs> Fucking Gary Moore, maybe. I know that Eric Clapton influenced Eddie Van Halen. If you wanted to look at it that way, well, maybe the guitar solos is probably the clue there. So maybe it is that. I don't know. I would say Gary Moore or Eric Clapton. Gary Clapton. Mm, do Gary do do Gary Moore. I'm, I'm you want to do Gary Moore? I want to do Eric. You want to do Eric? Okay, let's 50, do Eric. 50. Let's do Eric. I'm going to go Robert Johnson, but let's do Eric. Eric, Ooh. nice. See, I that's that's the clue. I knew that it influenced Eddie yeah, Van the, the Halen. guitar solo thing. Yeah, that was a great deduction there. Yeah. Um, yeah. When it comes to musical forms, most people cannot believe that metal is influenced by this musical style. What is it? Classical pop, rap, and punk. Well, nowadays, I would say all of it. Because pop is like metalcore. Rap well, is like new metal. Punk is yeah. hardcore. It's also, and classical is just Yngwie Malmsteen. It seems silly to be like... Like punk? one of these, I couldn't imagine them being influenced by punk. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. It's only one of them. Um, most people strange. cannot believe that metal is influenced by this music style. Maybe it is classical then, because that's way more <sighs> shocking. Than I mean, punk. I guess classical would be like the OG influence right. for metal, but and I could see, some, I could see them. some like you know some college student writing this and being like, <laughs> they. Classical, really? That's quite respectable. I'm gonna say classical for sure. Yeah. I think they're gonna put classical, but I think it it's, should be punk. It's yeah. Punk or all of them? All of them. Yeah. Like, yeah. They pull, yeah. Metal. That's the cool thing about metal. It pulls from literally everything and creates its own little sub genres. Yeah. Lasagnas. Just you lasagnas. have the neoclassical stuff like Ingve and right. Yeah. Sub lasagnas. I told you never to invoke around me. Yeah, <laughs> Ingve. You're invoking spirits on me. Uh, this band started out as one of the big players in the grunge scene, but has always been considered to be a heavy metal band, or at least heavily influenced by heavy metal. Which band? Nirvana, Smashing Ugh. Pumpkins, Pearl Jam, or Soundgarden? Heavy metal. Maybe Smashing Pumpkins, cause they, gonna, because they were on like Guitar Hero and shit, and they like I'm, have the electric guitar. You know, like I could see Normies being like, yeah, that's like heavy metal. I'm going to say Soundgarden. Soundgarden? I'm going to say Soundgarden. Soundgarden? Yeah. It'd be really weird for them. Maybe even I Pearl think. Jam too. Cause not heavy metal though, but. Well, maybe though. I'm going to. Because he kind of hmm. yells and shit and they have like a electric guitar. You got to think about the wave that they just came out of when this was relevant. When was the. What, does there's no time frame? Hmm. They were in the. Well, you got Nirvana Smash. Well, big started out as one of the big players. Well, you had, you had the hair metal scene right before this. All this killed hair metal. I'm going to say sound. I mean, Nirvana was clearly the biggest grunge band. I don't even know if Smashing Pumpkins was considered a grunge band. It, like, big in the grunge. I don't know. They were, they've were. they always been kind of like a rock band, right? Uh, they, they have, like, dark, Pearl Jam's, like, kind like of grunge rock. for sure. I, I'm going to say Soundgarden. I don't know. What do you What do you think? I don't know. I'm torn on this. This one's the hardest one for me. Because I feel like I can argue myself into any answer right now. Yeah. Um... Oh, which one started and was just big instantly in grunge? I mean, Nirvana. Nirvana's the biggest grunge band in the in, of all time, for sure. Soundgarden was too. Soundgarden not was as big as it, dude. Nirvana's one of the biggest bands. But heavy metal. I feel like I could. Any turn. Never heard anybody call Soundgarden heavy metal. That's the part that's tripping me out. Hmm. I'm just. I said. I'm gonna think Soundgarden, but but. I'm torn. Uh, I'm gonna go wild card. I'm just gonna say Nirvana. Okay. Um, just click one, I guess, one of the two, and then we'll see. Yeah, Chris Cornell. Yeah, that's what I figured, because I was like, yeah. Okay, 
Soundgarden. Let's do a couple more. Uh, before the birth of metal, which psychedelic guitarist and singer heavily influenced the musical language of heavy metal? Keith Richards, Eddie Cochran, and Jimi Hendrix, or Eric Clapton. All these fucking questions. Who? Which I mean, thing psychedelic guitarist. Thing? They gave it away by saying psychedelic guitarist. I mean, Jimi Hendrix, I think for sure. Like, if you just said guitarist, that would have actually been a more mm-hmm. difficult question. But psychedelic. psychedelic like, no, oh, he did drugs once, so uh, he's definitely a psychedelic guitarist. Jimothy Hendrix. Watch, I'm wrong. Uh, uh, Jimmy, I'm going to say Jimi Hendrix for sure. Yeah. Um, too easy. All right, let's see. What music can be said to be the mother of heavy metal mixing with rock music? Folk music, marching music, polka, or the blues? Uh, Probably the blues. I'm going to say folk. Or folk. I'm gonna say folk music. Folk I'm gonna say polka because it's got that it's got that skank beat in it. I'm gonna folka. say folk because like I feel like folk music goes towards like Viking metal and like Celtic metal and like the indie stuff and like that because you have like two s- sections of metal. Mm-hmm. You have like the the culty like European stuff like the Viking, the black, and the you know the, the Celtic and the, all that shit. And then then you have like the American that's very like metalcore and, and hardcore and new metal and so I'm gonna say folk. I'm gonna say folk. Oh no, the blues. Oh. Okay. Now I feel dumb. Okay. Um I've never heard that term. Uh what music can be said to be the mother. But, okay. Mother. Good to know. Uh what music what musical from the late 70s and 80s would later influence and merge with the heavy metal sounds to make a subgenre known for a shorter, high energy songs? Jazz, punk, new wave, neo mod. Ooh. Punk. 70s, I think punk. 80s? Punk for sure. Shorter, high energy songs uh, to me is punk. For sure. It's fucking jazz, yeah, for sure. Jazz is like jazz yeah. and metal would be like. Yeah, I think it's punk. Sean, not Sean. What's the one we're thinking of? Hmm. Yeah, click it. Punk, for sure. Noise. That's where hardcore comes from, bruh. Uh, what is this cultural influence on heavy metal that some of the gr- of the genre's own bands hate? Uh, every single one, <laughs> particularly those more influenced by punk music, theater, surf, non-vocal, or drum and march. Cultural influence on heavy metal. Probably. Oh, uh, wait. What? Eight. Some of the genre's own bands hate. Um. Fuck. Uh, so what, so what? Surf metal? I don't really even know what that would be. Surf music. I know, but like cultural influence on heavy metal that people know. in heavy metal don't like maybe non-vocal music I, I mean maybe surf because it's saying particularly those more influenced by punk which surf could be more punky like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 kind of like got that like rancid punk ska thing mixed I mean, you know I was going to say too I was like, the only thing I could think now that I'm thinking about it, maybe the theater even because that one I could see people hating that and be like, what the fuck is this, dude? What <laughs> what is they, this shit? Why are they being theatrical now? I'm gonna say surf. I'm gonna say surf music. Surf and turf. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go non non vocal. Non vocal. What is it? Oh, it theater. was theater. <laughs> Interesting. Funny. Heavy metal had influences taken from theater. It's part of why heavy metal music relies on the idea of creating or using myths for the band's image and sound. So Sleep Token, and why some heavy metal music actually works well with more with movie and TV soundtracks. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Epic. Let's do a couple. Let's do two with more. With that said, I am officially campaigning to get Sion the Blade on the new Blade movie. That'd be sick. Let, let's help. Yeah, get the Funky Town <laughs> cover on Blade. Uh, let's do the Funky t- Town. If I play, play that funky music. <laughs> yeah, let's do funky it. T- uh, which of the early heavy metal bands had the dubious distinction at one point of being the loudest band ever? The dubious Judas distinction. Pri- Judas Priest, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, Deep Purple. I'm going to say Led loudest. Zeppelin. I'm going to say Led Zeppelin. I feel like they just like were obnoxiously loud at all times. I think I feel like there's something tickling in my brain that of like it. 
an article I peered at once that's leading me towards Judas Priest right now. You Judas Priest, you think? I, I, I'm going to guess Judas Priest. I'm going to guess Led Zeppelin. Deep, Deep purple. purple. They've been that's been on there five times. They're like, pick it, come on. Please. Deep purple. Wait, go back, go back. Deep Purple was in the 1975 edition of the Guinness Book of World Records as the loudest band in the world. What? After a thundering 1972 concert at London's Rainbow Theater, there was truly smoke on the water that day. That's wild. You know, that, you imagine that riff being the loudest riff you've ever heard. <laughs> All right, let's see the last one. What is the name of this? What is the name of this band seen as a heavy metal proto group thanks to their reinterpretation of Eddie Cochran's Summertime Blues? Big Brother and the Holding Company, The Zombies, The Who, or Blue Cheer? Sorry, Big Brother and the Holding Company? I actually don't what know. What the fuck is that? I actually don't S- know. Somebody fucking c- control v at the wrong time and put a Google search in here. <laughs> Your local company. <laughs> I'll say The Who just because I don't know. I'm, I don't know what yeah, Blue Cheer is. I don't is know Big Shana Brother. Dark. I'm going Big Brother, dude. I got a... That's a craziest thing i heard okay what is it blue it was cheer. Blue cheer arguably in that rough boundary between blues rock and heavy metal but the blue collar aggression they showed in their version of summertime blues as well as the radical arrangement shifts provide a historical prologue to heavy metal music imagine if it was a historical prologue <laughs> imagine that oh my god dude i'm digging all the ads on this website there's so many fucking ads on this site it's like stressing me out a little bit i think we should get like like two percent do you want to watch chowchilla max Coraline, (laughs) lord of the rings weight loss do you want to play tf2 do you want to click on facebook do you want to share it in your email (laughs) no bitch leave me alone dude want to do any of that just want to learn who was influenced by who for the 80th time <laughs> Which late band influenced another band? Dude, Deep we purple, should get like two percent of all those ads on this for showing it on the United. Yeah, Show. Max, we're coming for you. Yeah, ya. we're coming for you, uh, HBO Max. All right, uh, can we pull up chat again, Kevin? Do a little, little, little five minute break. So that is, uh, that is a little metal uh, trivia history. Oh my God. <laughs> Help me! What the fuck what was just, that? Uh, oh, you're fucking fired! Oh my God. Yikes! I have no clue why those all started playing. Let's, uh, let's delete brain. those. Sorry, guys. That was so loud. We joked dude. about that before the show, <laughs> it and it happened. Kokaitis oh my claims God. another. Oh, now that I've had an aneurysm. Go to bluechew.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching that one. That was uh, Metal Trivia. If you liked it, let us know. And uh, we'll continue on that in the new episode. Oh, my God. If you guys like what you're seeing, then please consider going to our Patreon and giving us your money. That way we can keep the lights on. We can keep the camera guy fed. And we'll really appreciate it. Thank you. Link in the description below.